Yeah, it's something that I'm not an expert, but I think everyone in the space industry is concerned and is aware about this increasing problem. It's true that, you know, the more satellites that we launch, the, the more opportunities that we have, but also it can be dangerous, right? Um, space is a pretty big, big space, but uh, still, if one of these pieces of debris hits another one, then we can get what we call the Kessler syndrome. That means that one will imply that will create many more debris, that will create many more debris. So it's very important to be able to have a, a very clean environment. And uh, I think that's why, where we have a lot of different initiatives by the European Space Agency and, and others. And one of the most important things that we can do at the moment is to make sure that these satellites, once they're launched, they get outside of, of the usable orbits once they finish their life. So at the moment, the most of the guidelines from all of the countries that allow launching satellites to space tries to make sure that they will deorbit and they will re-enter the atmosphere. They will burn in, in the atmosphere in 25 years after they, they finish the lifetime. 